Bet you've never seen marks that resemble ice cream scoop marks left in solid bedrock. Let us look at the ancient Egyptian massive granite obelisk, left protruding from the Aswan quarry. The marks seen on this massive unfinished granite obelisk, as well as those seen throughout the hillside terrain of the Aswan quarry, are not actually scoop marks. That is, the ancient Egyptians were not softening the bedrock and scooping it out. Additionally, those marks in the bedrock were definitely not made from bashing granite with handheld diorite pounders, as each mark is as much as 50 inches wide and some 6 to 8 inches deep. Instead, the ancient Egyptians clearly were softening the bedrock or making it brittle and grinding it down. Clearly, something abrasive or something spinning made those marks. In other words, they were easily carving massive three-dimensional objects or shapes into the bedrock before removing them from the slots they were in. Their techniques for working stone would be more familiar to us when it comes to techniques for working wood. Thus, they were carving the desired shape all in one piece while it was in the ground. Granite is so difficult to cut that for modern companies, diamond saw blades or wire saws are preferred for cutting it due to their exceptional hardness and efficiency in working such hard materials. Even materials like tungsten carbide typically find application in certain drilling or machining tools, but is not the primary choice for cutting granite. Yet in ancient Egypt, the marks seen etched directly onto the outer surface of the unfinished obelisk are the same as those seen some 15 meters away from the main body of the obelisk, which means that while those marks play no significant role in the final shape of the obelisk, they ultimately demonstrate how easy it would have been for the ancient Egyptians to cut into granite. Given that they left so many errant marks in the bedrock, even in spots where cutting wasn't needed and wasn't a necessity. Thus, even with modern machinery, we have not seen signs that we are anywhere near starting to catch up to what the ancient Egyptian empire was doing to granite.